Do you have entomophobia? You know what that is? Mm -hmm. It's a fear of insects. There's an organ artist who makes you want to take a closer look at bugs and their beauty. I don't know how you can have that fear when you see how pretty they are. And his work is getting worldwide acclaim. Our Lisa Bailey shows how he does it and where you'll be able to see his art in this special report. I create artwork using artifacts of nature. Christopher Marley is a craftsman, selecting nature's gifts of color, texture, patterns, the design elements of organisms. Hmm. It is a flaw that should not be there. Assembling them into mosaics that make you think deeper about their beauty. My objective is to try and help people see the natural world with fresh eyes. Marley plucks creatures out of their natural environment reclaiming them after they die of natural causes or gathers them through insect collectors. Most of his deceased insects and reptiles come from zoos, aquariums, and breeders. He permanently preserves them so they captivate and help make a connection. There's a lot more than just, isn't this a pretty thing in a frame? Beautiful beetles with iridescent shimmer so dazzling, it's hard to believe this is how they really look. Draw in people who wouldn't naturally want to come and look at a snake or a beetle. Marley's life's passion is called biophilia. It's the love of living things, a sense of wonder and the bond we have with nature. For him, it started when he was a child in Salem. My father was a, was a huge a hobbyist bird breeder. So I, you know, we always had dead birds in our freezer. Everything dies eventually. So when they do, I found that these people don't know what to do with their organisms. They would throw them away. And so I would kind of swoop in and, and grab these, uh, whatever I could find, and, and try to, to preserve them. After Marley left home, he traveled the world and on the way collected bugs as souvenirs, then started creating. Argentina, Peru, and Guyana and Brazil. Look at the size of that. He's not an entomologist wow. or biologist, but a self-educated artist. His materials gathered in jungles and on tropical islands. And this is Sagra Bucchetti from Malaysia. What are those little dots? Those are ladybugs, basically. Their ladybirds are Cosinellidae, so they are from, uh, from Indonesia. He takes these often hidden gems that most of us would never see and reveals their intricacies by arranging them to bedazzle the eye of the beholder. I want to draw people in uh, who don't feel like they're necessarily are already attracted to uh, these elements of nature. It's why his reach extends beyond bugs to sharks, birds, fish, filling almost a dozen freezers in his Salem warehouse studio. You can't help but stare at the snakes, some collected from roadkill. They can either lay there and get eaten by crows or you can make something beautiful out of it. Close up, you notice their design like the skin of a diamond carpet python, and the inland taipan, which has the most toxic venom in the world. There's a real danger right now in these days of our entire experiences with nature and frankly with each other becoming two-dimensional. Marley's been creating with creatures for decades, his work in private collections around the world. It's also inspired Nike shoe designs and is collected by the company's CEO. But Marley is now running in a different direction, He's working more with science museums and art galleries to reach a larger audience. This fall at OMSI, he will install a 13,000 square foot exhibit of his work. To me, to be able to expose people to as many different varieties of the, of the elements of nature is really critical. It's such a personal thing. You are drawn in by the magic of Marley's message to take a closer look past your phobias and appreciate the artistry in nature. This is Tori Noria Flemea from Thailand. Lisa Balik. Sternosera Pulchra from Tanzania. Coin6 News. With so many of his pieces, you can't tell that they're bugs mm -hmm. until you get up close really and you close. realize what it is. The farther you are away, it looks more and more like a painting or a photograph. Yeah. And then you get closer and closer and closer. Neither one of us want the snake. Nope. Snakes. The other nope. things I'd be interested in. You don't want anything to do with that. I appreciate it, mm -hmm. but yeah, no. So some of uh, Marley's work is currently on display at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. But it is coming here, remember. He, he and his team are working right now to put those pieces up for the installation at OMSI that opens in October. It always, yeah, it takes somebody who uh, looks at things differently. Yeah, and that's the great part about our job is mm -hmm. we can expose people to that. And so if you are interested in that and want to see maybe some of his work, Marley's work, we do have a photo gallery up right now on coin.com.